in beauty school, we were taught four sections and they said, all right, have a great career. So <laughs> I was like, okay, oh, what? You know, in the early days, gosh, I really just guessed my way through it all. I mean, I really got lucky. When I really understood the vertical breakdown, understanding these points of reference, center back, left back corner, right back corner, center front, all the different points of reference, I really understood that, wow, the head form moves more than just four times. And that there are major changes in direction in the head form and minor changes in direction in the head form. I remember when I was at the point in my, my career where I was just memorizing shapes and I would put the same haircut on different people and every time the shape looked different, even though I was doing exactly the same haircut the way I was taught. The reality was, was when principles of head form were explained to me, then I finally understood that I had to make slight adjustments to my elevation, to my over direction and finger angle in order to make that shape turn out the same when the head shapes actually varied. The more we understand about head form, the easier it is to make intelligent decisions about the haircut. The change in the direction of the head form influences the shape. Understanding these changes, or as we call them, points of reference, influences our decision to create a complementary shape. Balance within a shape is one of the most common issues in haircutting. One side is heavier or the perimeter is uneven. Balancing the silhouette or perimeter can be a problem if we do not understand head form. When we do understand the head form, duplicating a look is easy. Whether replicating a picture or an idea in our head, knowing how to break down the look simplifies the task. When a guest returns to a salon asking for the same cut as the last time, we can be confident because we understand the principles of head form and consistency is no problem.